Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. If you like this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we discuss the latest generation Rolex Oyster Perpetual Datejust 41, the largest Datejust you can buy. Reference 126333 in yellow gold and Rolex 904L anti-corrosive oyster steel. This timepiece has an impressive stance. Launched in 2016 as an update to the 2009 to 2015 Datejust 2, this watch is somewhat better proportioned about its dial, its case, and the highlight being the return of the Jubilee bracelet never available on the Datejust 2. So on my wrist, easy to wear, 41 millimeters, a bigger watch, but not a huge watch, 11.8 millimeters thick, and lug to lug, very reasonable 47.6 millimeters. Spacing between the lugs is 21 millimeters if you wish to accessorize with an aftermarket or Rolex strap. And I can't overemphasize that now that we have the Jubilee option and the watch has been calculated to have a less massive wrist presence, the pivoted end links of the bracelet mean that there's no additional flare past the case. So the lug to lug is 47.6 and the actual width across the wrist is 47.6. Pop this one open, and you can see that even the Jubilee has been upgraded for the occasion. Born with the original Datejust in 1945, it was never available on the Datejust 2. Something of a puzzling decision on Rolex's part, but here it rejoins the Datejust extended family in spectacular fashion. You can see that the links at center are solid, and this is by far the most redoubtable Jubilee that I've encountered. It's solid. It's substantial. There's a lot of metal here, both gold and steel, contrasting polish and satin. And if we move down to the clasp, you can see that even this is fully realized with high polished interior, straight through gold on the top, the raised Rolex logo rather than embossed. And internally, it features the Easy link system that we've come to know from the Oyster bracelets. You can also see that there are, let's see if I can capture these, but there are multiple anchoring points inside the clasp. And if I haven't quite, oh, there they are. They allow you to actually chain to the anchoring point of the bracelet. So in addition to using Easy Link and removing links, you can use that anchor point adjustment for fine sizing, both polish and satin. And you can see how many gaps there are between the Jubilee's individual links. This vents the wrist, avoids pinching skin or pulling hair. And because there are many small links, this is the silkiest bracelet that Rolex offers. The comfort factor is high. Now let's get close to the dial and focus in, give ourselves a bit more light to work with and enjoy what Rolex hath Rock. First of all, an elegant case. This is not the super case, although it is a modern rendition on the Datejust. Nevertheless, it has a handsome set of compound curves and a wonderful rounded, graceful arcing form from lug to lug as well as from top to bottom. The bezel is almost like a cut gem as it features a number of facets. We'll get those into focus right here. A number of facets that are almost like twinkling edges of a cut diamond, ruby, or emerald. The dial of this one, this is why these videos defy autofocus, has a sensational golden sunburst. All gold applique indices, gold crown, gold hands, all tarnish resistant, and the sunburst quality of this dial is deep and explosive, highly reactive and light. You can also see that there are minute and second Arabic numerals outboard of each hour station, and the Cyclops eye is less dominant on the larger dial. A 41 millimeter watch can better spread out the forms of the indices, the hands, and the plane of the dial, such that the Cyclops eye, still practical and distinctive, no longer quite monopolizes the space as it does on the Datejust 36 or the smaller Datejusts. Underneath the case back, modern movement. Rolex manufacturer caliber 3235, 70 hour power reserve, automatic winding, 28 8 beat rate, hacking seconds, quick set date, thanks to a twin lock crown, 100 meter water resistance, it has a free sprung balance and a full balance bridge for shock resistance and overcoil hairspring so it can keep excellent time in any position and or any orientation with respect to gravity. That's how it earns its COSC chronometer certification. 31 joule, of course with a smooth bi-directional winding system and Teflon coated reversing wheels you can barely hear or feel it. It also has a paracrom blue neopium zirconium alloy hairspring so it is robustly anti-magnetic but Rolex goes one step beyond a COSC chronometer certification. It actually takes the movement once it earns the certificate, cases it up and then as a fully assembled watch Rolex retimes the timepiece to no worse than minus two plus two seconds per day hence a substantive basis for the long-running Appalachian superlative chronometer. See this one and make it yours on the watch box.
And I'm back with the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Datejust 41, the 126333 Yellow Gold and Steel by Day, Big and Blue by Night. See it on the watch box.